हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ मिस्टर बुला के भवा शोक बाबा साहेब मराठी आर्ट्स एंड न्यू कॉमर्स साइंस कॉलेज राजापुर टुडेज लेक्चर्स वी हैव गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यू टॉपिक एग्रोकेमिकल्स यू नो दैट एग्रोकेमिकल्स इज अ केमिकल प्रोडक्ट्स यूज इन एग्रीकल्चर टू प्रोटेक्ट द क्रॉप्स फ्रॉम पेस्ट वीड्स एंड एनहांस the crops yields by increasing the demand of food food grains and decreasing the farmland in india which have increased the pressure on farm yield to improvement and reduction in crops losses due to pest attack therefore in agrochemicals which is used in farming and therefore it can be classified as insecticides fungicides herbicides pesticides and rodenticides the indian crop production we determined by sorry it is those by insecticides is about 60% fungicides and herbicides are the largest growing industries in about 18 and 16% respectively some domestic consumption of that agrochemicals which is imperative to use crop protection chemicals to improve farm productivity and consumption of agrochemicals is expected to grow as companies are constantly educated farmers now we have see the some properties of the pesticides should have the first property first property they should be used as a broad spectrum to kill the pest this is the first property second property is that it is not toxic to animals and plants and third property it is not increase the concentration level of the food chain next property it should not permanently stored in our body tissue like a human beings next property it is should not disrupt balance of ecosystem next it should not cause the birth defects of the human beings next property it should have the low production cost because the farmers which having to identify then it should be easily formulated the number of farmers the farmers they should have easily get handled now we are going to the next point the classification of agrochemicals agrochemicals which are classified as the five types first one insecticides fungicides herbicides pesticides and the rodenticides the first the we have see the pesticides Do you know that pesticides it is a chemicals in which used for preventing destroying attracting repelling or the controlling any pest including 
unwanted species of plants or animals is called as the pesticides the first two types we have see the insecticides insecticides are the chemicals which are used to protect the crops from the insect by killing them as well as it repelling the insect and killing mitigate insect it is called as insecticides insecticides are classified on the basis of their natures first is the chemical nature second one is mode of entry and third one is a mode of action so firstly we have see the chemical natures in chemical natures which is broadly classified as the inorganic compounds organic compounds and botanicals the inorganic compounds like arsenic chlorine compounds such compounds which can be include in or inorganic insecticides next is organic compounds for example ddt hch phenyl derivative or carbamates etc it can be used in organics botanicals like a uh, nicotine proteinone and pyrethrum etc these organic chemicals or inorganics the properties of systematic insecticides are the compound it should have the main property which is soluble and to enable the compounds to move in the plant they should have ability to penetrate into the plant through roots leaves etc for examples the chlorinated hydrocarbons like ddt means 11 trichloro 22 bis parachlorophenyl ethane it is environmental hazardous and therefore it is long residential life to get accumulation organophosphate like a methyl parathion it is a lower toxicity to human beings and domestic animals which are used malathion carbamates or carbofurans another examples is a pyrethroid which is pyrethrin first alethrin second which is are used potent against insect and lower toxicity to human beings and animals now the next types we have see which is based on the mode of entry in the insect the first is stomach insecticides so how will you this insecticides are attack on the stomach of the insect so first point we have see the insecticides eaten by insect are known as stomach insecticides and these insecticides are active against chewing insect such as caterpillars grasshoppers etc their application is through their food and entry through the 
midgut of the insect for example the edt and hch is a contact in insecticides these insecticides kill the insect due to external contact and absorption through skin their application is through the body surface and entry through the cuticle for example pyrethrum protinone and toxaphin next point we have see fumigants so how will we affect these fumigants it is the action of in the form of gas to kill the insect these substances act on insect to the respiratory system as the air vapors enter through the trachea for example the hydrogen cyanides methyl bromide etc then next point we have see the mode of action the first point physical poison the physical poisons which kill the insect by suffocation next point inner ducts which affects the loss of body moisture from the insect next heavy mineral oils which are affect purely aspirant effect third is a sorry next respiratory poisons which can be combined with cytochromes oxidates and inhibit their catalytic action next is a nerve poisons which can affect primarily with solubility of tissue lipids okay next points we have see the herbicides you know that herbicides are the chemicals which are used for preventing or inhibiting the growth of plants for killing the weeds herbicides are used to remove the herbs which are unwanted plants that might cause damage to the crop herbicides are clearly classified into two types selective herbicides and non selective herbicides selective herbicides are they kills weed without harming the crop and non selective herbicides are used they kill all vegetation herbicides can control many perennial weed and brush species which cannot be con controlled by other methods next some of the weeds which are damaged the crop for the water and nutrients from the soils which are mean for the main crop and thus reduce the crop yield you know that by occupy space and thus prevent sunlight from the reacting the main crop means poisonous weed get into harvested crop examples the organic arsicles like the cocodylic acid and disodium methane arsenate which are used for the rubber plantation as well as the cotton second is a phenoxy herbicides like 24d 
2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid and 2,4-trichlorophenoxyacetic acid which are used for the control of broad leaf weeds in sugar cane and plantation of the crop. Propanil, it is also used on rice fields as a selective post emergence control for a broad spectrum of 